Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that y equals y of x. It is an implicit function of x such that log of x plus y to the base e is equal to 4xy. Then we have been asked to figure out the value of d2y by dx square that is second derivative at x equals to 0. So we need to figure out that. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are 10, 40, 80, and 120. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. So let's figure out before starting off with the solution. I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it also motivates me to produce better content in terms of this questions that I'm teaching. Let's see the solution now. So if I talk about the solution, I have been given a function that says log of x plus y to the base e is equals to 4xy. Now I have this. If I try to convert this logarithmic function to an exponential function, I can write that as x plus y is equal to e raised to 4xy. Now, once I have this, I have been asked to find the second derivative's value at x equals to 0. So let's see if I want to find out the second derivative first, how to do it. So if I'm differentiating this entire function with respect to x, I get from here 1 plus dy over dx is equals to here I get e raised to 4xy into derivative of 4xy which is nothing but 4 into derivative of xy which is x into dy by dx plus y into derivative of x which is 1. So we have this here from here I get 1 plus dy by dx is equals to e raised to 4xy into 4x dy by dx plus 4y. So we have this entire thing. Now if I further differentiate this entire thing also with respect to x. So what we get here is derivative of 1 with respect to x is 0. Derivative of dy by dx is d2y by dx squared is equal to, if I apply the product rule here to find the derivative of u into v, I can just write the first thing as it is so e raised to 4xy into derivative of this entire thing. So that gives you 4 and product rule if I apply for x and dy by dx gives me x d2y by dx squared plus dy by dx as it is and the derivative of x is 1 plus 4 into derivative of y with respect to x, which is dy by x. So this is one idea plus second bracket I'm writing as it is now. So 4x dy by dx plus 4y into derivative of e raised to 4xy, which is nothing but e raised to 4xy into derivative of 4xy, which is 4x dy by dx plus y. So we have this entire thing with us now. So I have d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 4xy into this entire thing. If I see I have 4 common. So if I take out directly 4 common, I have in the bracket x d2y by dx square plus 2 times dy by dx. So dy by dx plus dy by dx, which is 2 times dy by dx. Plus here, if I see, I have 4x dy by dx plus 4y common from both of them. So e raised to 4xy again 
into I have 4x dy by dx plus y the whole square. So I get 4x dy by dx plus 4y the whole square. So we have this entire thing for d2y by dx square. Now the question actually tells us to find out at x equals to 0 what is the value of the second derivative. So when I have to find at x equals to 0 what is the value of the second derivative, I'll put everywhere x equals to 0. So first in this equation, if I put x as 0, I have, let's figure out the value of y. So at x equals to 0, from here I get 0 plus y equals to e raised to 4 into 0 into y, so e raised to 0. So from here I get y is equals to e raised to 0, anything raised to 0 is always 1. So y is 1. So from here I get at x equals to 0, y is 1. Second. If I want to figure out dy by dx here, so let's put again at x equals to 0. So at x equals to 0 means again if I put it, I get 1 plus dy by dx equals to e raised to 0, which is 1, multiplied with 4 into 0 into dy by dx, which is 0, plus 4 into y. So 4 into y, it's nothing but 4 into 1, which is 4. So I get from here dy by dx equals to 4 into 1 which is 4 and minus 1 so that gives you 3. So you get dy by dx equals to 3. And if I figure out d2y by dx square at x equals to 0. So d2y by dx square is equals to what? So let's figure out. So if I put it here at x equals to 0, d2y by dx square turns out to become e raised to 0 which is 1 into 4 x which is 0 so 0 into d2y by dx square is 0 plus 2 times dy by dx which is 3 plus e raised to 0 and here you get 4 into x which is 0 basically so this entire term turns 0 plus 4y so y in this case we know we figured out that right so 4 into 1 which is 4 whole square so from here if i try to solve this further i get 1 into 4 which is 4 3 into 2 which is 6, so 4 into 6 plus 1 into 4 square, 4 square is 16, so 24 plus 16 which is 40. So I get the answer for the question here at that is 40. And if I see option B matches with the answer of this question, so B becomes a correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we first for the implicit function, try to convert our logarithmic to exponential form and then we took the derivative two times to get d2y by dx square. Once I got the second derivative, I just put at x equals to zero, what is the value of the second derivative? So I got the answer to become 40 and that matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out and if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.